So I'm going to show the process of how we make bucks, and I'm going to see how fast these guys can make one. It should be pretty straightforward. We've made 30 or 40 so far. Everyone knows what their job is. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to peel the first few inches off the bottom of each log using a draw knife. The reason I'm going to do that is because I'm going to coat that with some tar like that. I think it'll help preserve it a little bit better. gets that done. Kurt's new Bob. Kurt's new nickname is Ken. <laughs> okay. At least it's not TJ. TJ worse than me. We're not gonna TJ. we're not gonna comment right now. <laughs> so clean these out pretty fairly clean but not it's not a log house or something. We don't need to go crazy on it here. And then this is where the jig is super helpful. We know the degrees. We've already had it marked out. We just simply lay the two of them together. We make sure that that gets beat down in there. And we simply take, I'm going to whack it a couple times. Bob's going to take a couple six inch timber locks. One from that direction. And everyone's working fluidly. And Ken's doing his job. The next step is simply to put the bottom cross brace on. We give them three cuts. There's the top. Now we're gonna do a total of two screws on each end of this, which makes these bucks somewhat expensive when it comes to screw price. But given that we're holding cows and moose and bears and everything else, big animals. gets pulled down here the two ends get tarred which I'm also just gonna film not because it's particularly interesting but just so we can see the total length of time that it basically takes to make a buck from pre-cut material obviously time went into logging and pre-cutting everything and all of that I'm not going to include that but we know that we have about 250 bucks to make and right now we're at four minutes and 28 seconds so I think we can get them done in five minutes so that's pretty good if everybody hustles. So you can see them just gooping the tar on there. Doesn't need to be fancy, doesn't need to be perfect, doesn't need to be pretty, just needs to be somewhat effective. Tar is cheap. It's a 50 or 60 bucks for five gallons. So just goop it, goop it, goop it. There we go. The whole world's waiting on can. That's basically the nature of things and we're done. So that's how you make a buck using a jig. <laughs> 